What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my flannel. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Benjamin. <laughs> hey guys, what's going on to my channel? <laughs> guys, what's going on? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of those videos. Let's just go ahead and roll the intro. Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Boogie Snacks. You can go ahead and call me Boogie and this is the home and the hub of anything and everything manga and anime related in my life. Now, judging by the title, you are already aware we're going to be jumping to yet another manga haul, you guys. Yes, it feels good to be back. Okay, so uh, this one's a little special because we have one big box of stuff you don't know what I've ordered, uh, but we're also going to be unboxing uh, the stuff that Manga Zichan got for me in a previous video, which you should see up above in the upper right hand corner. Before we go ahead and jump on into today's video, I do want to go ahead and pose the question that I ask every manga haul, which is what have you guys been hauling recently or what is on your to buy list? Okay, so drop those titles down below in the comment section. It's honestly one of my favorite part about making these types of videos. With that being said, we have a bunch of manga to get into. I am so excited. I've been itching to open these literally all week. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump on into the haul. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, yeah, this okay, this is a series that is probably once it showed up on the scene and everyone first started to hear about it and uh, it started making its rounds on Twitter and social media, this one became one of the like this one quickly became one of the most highly recommended um a series on the channel. Spy Family, right here. This series right now. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on Spy Family uh, down below. I haven't read a single chapter of this, but it looks good. Okay, uh, not only does like the synopsis sound great, uh, but the like holding the physical copies for the first time look good. I'm very much anticipating that this is going to be a very, very good read and I believe Volume 2 is already out in physical, so we will see if uh, after I read this volume if I want to continue picking this up physically or if I want to just continue reading it on the Viz app, which I know uh, is an option. Okay, so uh, that is Spy uh, Family or Spy X Family, depending on how you want to say it, but I think we have the whole Hunter Hunter thing here uh, going on, so it's just Spy Family. Uh, but let me know your thoughts down below and let's quickly move on to the next series. Okay, thumbing through, thumbing through, and what do we got here? Oh, you guys, okay, I've never heard of this one. Uh, but a couple of you in the comment sections of that Buy Manga With Me video that we collaborated on uh, were actually happy that I picked this one up. Let me find volume one of this series. It's right here. Uh, and this is Livingstone. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Livingstone. She actually bought me uh, one to four complete. So we're going to go through all four volumes here right now. Uh, this is put out by Kodansha. And honestly, uh, this is my first impression of it. I mean, pulling it out of the box, I'm seeing it with you for the first time. It looks like an older art style, so I don't know when this initially came out, uh, but it looks like an older art style, um, and it feels really good. It honestly feels uh, really good in the hands, so that was volume one. These look actually pop. These are probably gonna look pretty darn good on the shelf. Here's volume three of Livingstone right here. Bada bing, bada boom. This one is by far my favorite cover uh, that, that I've seen so far. Um, and here is volume four. Yeah, here's volume four. And I, and, and I am a fan of a nice popping yellow cover. Uh, you guys should know that about me by now. One to four complete. I like the sound of that, especially as a collector. Okay, so uh, that was uh, one to four of Livingstone. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that series. Have you ever heard of it? Is this the first time of you hearing it? Um, have you read it and you're not a fan of it? So on and so forth. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section, okay? And quickly moving on. She actually picked out some good stuff, stuff that I would have never have picked up on my own. So I'm glad that I got to break out of my comfort zone and, and she actually picked up some stuff. And this, this series, yeah, this is a prime example of something I would have probably never have picked up if it weren't for my Manga Zichan's recommend recommendation uh, and her taking the initiative to actually pick this up for me. So hopefully, I hopefully I like it because I am a fan uh, of uh, of gambling uh, series. So. Um I was excited when she picked up a kaiji for me, and this is a beefy volume, by the way. This is a beefy volume. Uh, this is volume number one. I, I think it's it, this has to be the size of an omnibus, and these feel really good. I'm not gonna lie, this feels incredibly um, 
it, it feels good in the hands. I'm not even gonna lie. And it looks like it's put out by Denpa. You can see that right there. I'm a fan of Kakaguri, so hopefully I will like this one. So this is Kaiji Gambling Apocalypse, okay? So, um, I don't know much about this, so I can't speak on this. I can't speak on a lot of things in this box, uh, so let me know your thoughts and opinions on Kaiji. Do you think I'm gonna like it? Do you think I'm not gonna like it? Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know down below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts, and let's quickly move on. I've heard nothing but great things, not only from uh, Manga Zichan, but by other creators here in the community, and you guys down below in the comment section, so I am eagerly awaiting uh, to read the first two volumes of Blue Flag, which is right here. So let's go ahead and find volume number one, which is right here. This is Blue Flag. I don't know much about this series. I don't know. All I know is that it's been uh, highly recommended to me. This is supposed to be a really good series. So I have volumes one uh, and volume two physical. I know that there's a lot more out, I believe, uh, of this series, but I think that uh, she she did a good thing by only getting me two volumes of this physically to see if I would even like it. Chances are, knowing me, I'll probably like Blue Flag, but we'll see. This is a series I've been trying to collect and finish collecting for a very long time, okay? Uh, and of course, we're gonna be talking about Monster, okay? And it looks like she got me volumes six and eight, so I really only need, I believe, two, because I have volumes one to five. I have volumes one to five right now, and she got me six to eight, so I only need a couple more to will complete. So uh, this is volume number six right here. Uh, this is by far, you guys, by far, this is the most probably requested series for me to check out of all time on my channel. It's Monster. Something about this series, I don't know what it is. I've put off watching the uh, anime because I believe there's an anime for this and I've put off reading any little tidbit of this series uh, because I know I want to explore the adventures of Dr. Kenzo Tenma or wherever his name is uh, until I collect all of it uh, complete because I have a feeling this is going to be one of those series I'm just going to want to binge read, okay? And thank you Manga Zichan because if you guys have been trying to collect this series, it's been difficult because it always seems to be out of stock once you get anywhere after volume five. Uh, so she must have seen, uh, you know, a couple volumes that were actually in stock on right stuff and just nabbed them. So thank you for that. So that was uh, volume six. Uh, and this is volume eight uh, right here. Let me know your guys' thoughts uh, down below in the comment section on uh, Monster, on Naoki Urasawa's uh, Monster. I've, this is, I've heard literally nothing but great things about this. Okay. This, in fact, this is probably the series that uh, most people say it's in their, it's, it's in their top five uh, from my experience. It's either like Vinland Saga or Monster. You know what I mean? So let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and let's quickly move on to the second box. <laughs> Oh man, I'm telling you, this one's heavy. A part of me low-key forgets what's even in this box, so uh, let's find out together. I remember a couple things that I ordered, but it's been such a long time since I've even ordered this, uh, and it's just been sitting on my living room floor, so uh, let's see what old Boogie <laughs> decided to order. <laughs> Oh my gosh, uh, this is where all my money went. Okay, <laughs> there's a lot of manga in here. Uh, and I didn't buy any of this on sale either from my, my memory serves correct. Uh, so I was looking for this part of my, my last paycheck. Wotakoi, and this is volume number three of the fantastic series of Wotakoi, okay? But if you're uh, my age, a, a little bit older, and you're looking for a, a series that covers adult life, uh, being an otaku in a nine to five setting, a corporate life setting, and, and the challenges that, that come with that, uh, I I highly recommend uh, you check out this series. One thing I will say about Wotakoi is, is I'm learning quickly that these uh, <laughs> these these releases come out very slowly. So, uh, but don't let that deter you from picking up Wotakoi. I mean, it's really good. I highly recommend you uh, checking out Wotakoi. Okay, so uh, this is volume number three, uh, and uh, we'll quickly move on to the next stuff. Okay, I think we knew that this was time. I've been I've been preaching about this series for so long. Um, let's talk about Silver Spoon because it's actually about to end here in the West. It's been done in Japan for a while, uh, but this is the penultimate volume and that's so exciting for me, you guys. That's literally so exciting. Uh, this is volume 14 out of 15 and 15 is available for pre-order right now. And this series is absolutely such a touching story. I've gone over it. You guys can find previous manga hauls uh, where I've I've talked about it before. Uh, and I, I give the synopsis multiple times on this channel, so I don't want to go into it, but uh, this is really, 
really such a touching series and I highly recommend it. I, but this is one of those where I'd go out on a limb and say that um, I, I wish more people were still talking about Silver Spoon. It, it's that good. Okay, so this is Silver Spoon following number 14. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on the series down below and let's quickly move on. So this series, um, this is one that I haven't started to read yet, uh, but I've been eagerly awaiting the second volume so I could binge uh, two volumes at a time with this series because I have a feeling I'll like it. Uh, it has an interesting premise uh, which has to do about adults once again, which I'm a huge fan of. Romance with someone that is uh, handicapped. We're gonna be talking about Perfect World and I've heard nothing but interesting things about this series, okay? I do know that if you wanna read it digitally, this is volume number two, I have volumes one and two. I do know that if you wanna read it digitally, you might be able to read all of it, if not almost all of it. Someone can clarify that down below in the in the comment section. Uh, but this is, I love the premise of this, um, of this story, okay? Um, and it has to do with adults that are roughly around my age uh, that, you know, one is disabled and it, you know the author has the courage to sort of explore that topic and I'm very interested to see how uh, how the author tackles this very hot you know subject okay this is a very pressing matter for a lot of people so uh, I'm very interested to see uh, the author's approach okay let's quickly move on I've gotten so many messages of people reminding me especially on Instagram so if you reached out to me on Instagram I read your DMs Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I did not forget, I did not forget. It's just been, I had to pick up some other stuff before I can get around to this one. I know, uh, but we're finally jumping back onto the quintessential quintuplets train. This is volume number nine. Oh, this is by far my favorite harem series. And traditionally, I'm not really a fan of harem series. I'll be. I'll be brutally honest, I'm really not a fan of harem series, but this reads and story tells mm, not like your average harem series. I mean, there is cliche tropes, yes, but it's done in a way where it, I just like it. I resonate with it and it's, it's, it's just great. Now, I've gone over this a lot on my channel, so if you're looking for a synopsis, you can go ahead and check out previous videos. Uh, but this is uh, this is a really good series, and I highly recommend you check it out. So let me know your thoughts and opinions, and, and who is best girl for you in the series uh, down below. Okay, let's quickly move on. Okay, so it's time. If you've seen any one of my live streams, or if you've seen any one of my previous haul videos where I talk about this series, you're finally gonna be a little happy for me because I've managed to get my hands on the rest of it so it's finally complete, which is a, you know, achievement unlocked for a lot of us collectors. Fruits Baskets right here, the collector's edition. Um, I highly recommend you guys check this series out. Nine, volume number 10, volume number 11, and the final volume, it feels so good to say this, complete, yes! Uh, volume number 12, okay, boom. Quickly moving on to the last series of the video, okay? This series right now is the only mech that I'm currently uh, watching and reading. Uh, I'm not really the biggest fan of mech. Uh, if you've been around my channel, you know this, but there's something about this Space Odyssey series that I really like. Uh, and it's put out by Vertical, and of course, this is uh, Knights of Sidonia, volume number six, and I believe volume number seven is either out or available for pre-order right now, but this is volume number six. These are done so well, you guys. All right, so this was like, I don't know about you guys, but this felt like a really good haul to me. I got a lot of new series, which was great. I basically got an entire box of new series, except for Monster, uh, and I got to continue a bunch of series uh, that uh, I, I absolutely love in a big old box of manga, and everyone loves big old boxes of manga. So uh, this felt like a really good haul. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, you guys, so I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. If you wanna go ahead and support the channel, go ahead and mash that like button down below. It lets me know that you are watching and I can continue to make more content just like this. And of course, as always, nothing has changed. If you like to stick around for more content, go ahead and mash that subscribe button. We would love to have you here in the community. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Boogie Snacks. You can go ahead and call me Boogie and I will see you in the next video. Good night, you guys.